Hey there, YouTubers! Now, Kyle, this is a super dense ball, which means it has a lot of mass. If you throw it in this direction, it will launch you in that direction. So don't throw it. Okay. Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. So you're probably wondering, why are you doing momentum? What happened to F equals MA for this video, for my 100th video special? Well, after doing that, my gracious co-host Phil pointed out to me, hey, um, uh, that's the wrong equation. You're going to want to use the conservation momentum equation. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, then you're probably wondering, what's the conservation momentum equation? Well, allow me to enlighten you. So the conservation of momentum equation is M1, times V1 is equal to M2 times V2. Very similar. The conservation of momentum is very similar to the conservation of energy. Things, the same, things must happen. It, it it's all in ties into Newton's third law of motion. For each action, there's equal and opposite reaction. Momentum in equals momentum out. Plain and simple. So we're going to do three uh, thought experiments on momentum. So first will be if a pitcher, a pro pitcher for baseball was put into space and he threw a baseball the fastest anyone's ever thrown a baseball, what velocity would he accelerate uh, what velocity would he be at when the baseball left his hand? Next one would be could you be a human rocket by throwing baseballs? And then finally, the one you're all here for. If you were Superman, or had Superman-like powers, and you found that throwing objects at some strange velocity to get you at some velocity was a lot easier than flying at that velocity, how big of an object would you need to throw at some uh, velocity to get you to the speed of light. Well, all of that and more will be answered today. So let's dive into things. And I'm back. So, let's break this formula down, shall we, for a baseball player. So we're going to take the mass of the baseball, which is 0.145 kilograms, times the, va the velocity of the fastest pitch ever thrown, which is 105.1 miles per hour, converted to meters per second is 46.98 meters per second. Set that equal to the mass, the average mass of a person in the world, which is 62 kilograms, times his velocity. So we're first going to divide this, so we're going to multiply this entire quantity together. And then we're going to divide that entire quantity by 62 kg. Okay. Now, that will give us V2. And our final velocity of our baseball player is, drumroll please, point one oh nine eight seven two. Point seven two meters per second. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Not anytime soon. But, using what we've gained here, we can discuss, could a human become a rocket? Let's explore that. And I'm back. Whoa, different direction this time. I thought I'd try it out. Anyways, so, could our Major League Baseball player become a rocket? Well, with only one baseball, no. What if you had ten of them, though? Now, we're going through one baseball at a time. That's going to significantly complicate our math. And I'm not going to do that math. That's a lot of math. But I'll, lead, I'll show you how to do it. So what you want to do, these are ten baseballs. You're going to take this times nine. Why times nine, Doc? Well... Because you already had to throw one baseball away. Therefore, you're not trying to move 
that entire mass. Your mass plus 10 baseballs. You're trying to move your mass plus 9 baseballs. Okay, so you'll set this the same equation here, just equal to 62 plus 0.145 times 9 times the velocity. Okay? And you do the same thing to solve for the velocity. Then you'll find this times 8, then times 7, then times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, eventually 1. And each time, adding, your, and then you'll have a big long list of velocities. And you'll add all these velocities together, and this will be the final velocity of your Major League Baseball player. <coughs> However, that's a lot of work. And you can go ahead and do it. I'm not going to do that. I did the easy way. I said, well, I love we had this Major League Baseball player pick up this bag of 10 baseballs and just yeet it up to this speed. Well, you just move the decimal over, change our final velocity to the new final velocity. And can you guess what our new final velocity is? Well, if you're a math wizard, you already know that it's 1.09 Eight seven. That's as far as I'm going to go. Meters per second. That's nothing. It's still nothing. It's, it's not. Now, granted, you will get a faster velocity throwing each baseball individually. That's because you're moving a smaller amount of mass each time, but you're still ejecting the same amount of mass each time. And that's how rockets work. They have a constant flow of mass uh, in, in the form of gas being expelled at the back end, but they're constantly getting less and less mass, and there's a whole equation. It's super complicated. And so, actually, that enables the rocket to go faster, and so on and so forth as they burn more fuel. The lighter they get, the faster they can go. So they're accelerating, which has a whole other fundamental part to that. However, you can't perfectly add these masses, these velocities together. And I'll explain here in a second. Now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. At what speed do I have to throw a baseball? Or does the average mass of a person have to throw a baseball to get them to be at the speed of light. Well, let's find out, shall we? So we, we take the average mass of a person in the world, which is 62 kilograms, times the speed of light, which is 299,792,458 meters per second, divided by the mass of the baseball, gets you, we're into this in terms of speed of light, so if you just throw speed of light out of the equation, you get roughly, 430 times C, which is the speed of light. However, if you're a Superman or whoever, some being, God, maybe you're Shaggy, like, I don't want to throw a baseball at 430 C. What if you threw the Empire State Building? Well, here's today's fun fact segment. I don't have my book, but here's the fun fact. The Empire State Building weighs 331 million kilograms, which is greater than the speed of light. Which means if you threw it at one meter per second, um, you'd be traveling faster than the speed of light. However, can't get there. Relativity gets you in your way. Thanks to a little equation that we all know. E equals mc squared. Now, it gets a little more complicated than that. See, this equation can be strung out and it includes momentum and gamma. And gamma is a pain in the butt. Because gamma is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v over c squared. Basically, as v approaches c, the speed of light, it's going to approach, it's going to make this fraction undefined. Therefore, gamma approaches infinity 
And because of the way things multiply in, you take something times infinity, you get infinity. And it all comes down to how energy is related to force. And it all comes back to F equals MA. So you need infinite energy to get a force to push for infinity to get an infinite mass that is, is, is the problem. This infinite energy leads to an infinite force, which leads to an infinite mass, because F equals MA. Even though you're still only trying to accelerate to the speed of light. Therefore, you can't do it. Nothing can go tra faster than the speed of light. Relativity kicks you in the butt. There's nothing we can do about that. Thank you, Gamma. But, in the meantime, when you're not throwing skyscrapers or baseballs at speeds nothing will ever reach. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please hit up my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and share. New videos every other Friday, 4.30 p.m. Central Time, and good night. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? Well then, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know every time I post. And while you're there, check out the playlist. Oh, you're still not satisfied? Well then check out my Instagram for exclusive content. And if you really want to help me out, you'll stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.